Today I'm showing you how I style my hair with the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. And I first start with the Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine line and I use the Smooth Blow Dry Anti-Frizz Cream which also has a heat protector in it. I'm sorry my camera wasn't wanting to focus on my products so I'm going to definitely be reading those product names out to you as well as linking them below in the description. And I just run that through my hair with my fingers making sure that I get it evenly distributed. Up next, I'm going to add, again, the Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine. I know this is not a sponsored post by them or Revlon. I just really like these products, and I use the Flatiron Perfector Straightening Mist. It also has a heat protector in it because we all, I use so many heat products, I, I have to have a heat protector or my hair is going to be super damaged. And after I add both of those products to my hair, I just grab a hairbrush and I run that through my hair a couple of times just to make sure that those products are evenly distributed throughout my hair. Also, when you're using a hot airbrush, and this goes for any hot airbrush, or even if you're blow drying um, your hair with a blow dryer and a regular hairbrush and doing your blowout that way, um, your hair needs to be at least 45% dry before you start doing your blowout, or else it won't properly set and hold. Um, and then you also need to section your hair when using the Revlon um, hot airbrush that I'm using today. So I just, you know, part my hair with my fingers and I just twist it up into a clip. Super easy. Um, so when I'm using it, of course, I, I when I'm doing the sections and then I go up under that section and then I twist as I go down the hair. And I start underneath first, typically, and then do a few passes over the top of the hair. Um, and that just helps really straighten it because that brush gets like almost as hot as my straightener does. So just going through it a couple more times really helps to straighten out my hair because I've got really curly hair. Um, and I just go section by section. Um, I try to do thin sections because I've got really thick hair. Um, and so this way I'm able to get it nice, dry, and straight. Um, every now and then my hair doesn't want to go as straight as I want it to with um, one or two passes. So I have to go over it a couple of times to really straighten it out. I kind of call it, I'm burning my hair into submission to do what I want it to do. Um, and so I just keep going. Um, yeah, I just burned myself because I touched the hair dryer. So don't touch the, the hair dryer because it's extremely hot. Um, yeah, and I just, and sometimes like it's, it's very easy to use this product because it's, it's kind of like you're just brushing your hair and that's styling it for you. Yeah, you're having to go over it a lot of times and it's a very hot tool, but it's drying your hair and straightening it at the same time. And this is something I've never been able to do. Like I've seen girls who are able to give themselves blowouts with like a hairbrush and a regular hairdryer. And I've just never been coordinated enough to do that. Like. It's so awkward and I just, my arms both get tired trying to do that and so when I found this hot airbrush, I was so stoked because I've finally been able to give myself a blowout easily and with like hardly any effort whatsoever. So I'm going to speed this clip up a little bit just so that, um, you know, it doesn't take up like your whole day trying to watch this video. So I'll speed it up. Oh, and on the uh, top layer here, um, that one's usually the most difficult for me. Sometimes I have to like go over the top of the hair and like twist it upwards to like pick up the hair just because if I try to go under it like picks up everything underneath that I've already dried and styled. Um, so it's really just up to you what's easier for you whether you want to go under or over on the top layer. I just find it sometimes easier to go over the top. Um, then I part my hair at the end and then I'm going to go over it with the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine product again. It's the uh, Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. And I just use this a little bitty bit amount of this to kind of calm down those flyaways and a little bit of the frizziness. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button below. Thanks for watching.